I can answer your first part because it is cast in terms of the ongoing presidential campaign. And I said repeatedly, I'm not going to answer questions. Oh, shut up, you idiot. You're useless. You're pathetic. Yeah. As you slash and burn the United States military rather than standing up for it. It's nothing to do with the context of the presidential election. Simple question. Is it classified or not? Now, let me help out the reporter. Yes, it obviously is. Because his answer otherwise would have been, of course not. She's wrong. Of course not, she's wrong. So I want America to know that former Secretary of State, who lies like a dog, a nasty woman, who, who used her position to violate the Espionage Act, to obstruct justice, to undermine Congress, to undermine the FBI and the Justice Department, who clearly gave secrets to the enemy because she told us over and over again during that debate that Putin has been hacking all over the place. But of course he wouldn't hack her unsecured server, now would he? Of course he would. But she just revealed how long it takes from the time the president orders the launching of a nuclear missile to the time it's launched. And I can assure you, our enemies in Russia, our enemies in China, are all meeting, trying to formulate potential responses to this. Now, I ask you, do you want her anywhere close to the nuclear button? Do you want her anywhere close to top secret classified information? Do you want her anywhere close to the Pentagon, to the NSA, to the DIA, to the CIA? Is this woman, this nasty woman, is she capable of being commander and chief given what we already know about her, not the hyperbole and suggestions of, oh, that Trump you can't trust. She has demonstrated in her public capacity, in her official capacity, that she's irresponsible, that she's dangerous, and that she's nasty. I'll be right back. Mark.